Road seemed plenty of width to work with him, and he got away with the bottom edge. Yes, good shot, young man. This is India versus Australia. The first match, India versus New Zealand, was abandoned due to rain. No threat of rain here in Gwalior. It's a beautiful batting pitch, always at the Roop Singh Stadium. And the captain winning the toss has no hesitation batting first. Rahul Dravid, second time lucky, winning the toss and deciding to bat first. An unchanged Indian 11 on the left. And the Australians, you can see a lot of inexperience in their bowlers. And Nathan Bracken, Brad Williams and the Bickle Brad Hogg will be having the first taste of uh, Indian conditions here. Strike rate right up around the 100 mark. Then the master. Strike rate 86, average 45. And that's it, you got a terrific catch. Bracken strikes, that is an absolutely magic catch. We're in the Sehwag and then had a slash at this one. Moving away. Pete not up to the ball, head was too high and what a great catch that is. One for one. And he's off the mark through the covers. This will test the speed of the outfield. Also Tim Dukel's timing and that will pull up. And it won't help though, any sort of protection and that'll be the first boundary of the day's play. What a great shot that is. Lovely stroke between the bowler and the stumps. And this one through the gap. Now that's why he didn't take two. He wants to strike. <laughs> Another terrific shot. A little short on experience there. So I think that's something that the Indians have to be mindful of. BBS oh. Lakshman off the hips gets his first boundary. He's got that five, and that's four. That's another four a very unorthodox feel and it's at the moment getting picked by Tendulkar. The first over. After that, it's been the Tendulkar and Lakshman show. Brings up the 50. The partnership as well as the Indian totem. There it goes again. Not too far from that fielder, but that's sped to the boundary. 64 for one now. Bowling change has been made and is being greeted with a boundary. Now he's to Tendulkar. Slow ball, four. 50. The 63rd 50 in one day internationals. And what an off it's been. Tendulkar is looking very good for many more. The crowd's really pleased. Not Tendulkar, he's the kind of batsman who loves to carry on. Pull away. In the air, safe. Four. Well, he said a different game to the game. The previous Lakshman in good touch. Another short one. Threw the shot too quickly. And it's a no ball. That is for what a gorgeous shot from VBS Lakshman. He's gone for this one, and don't worry about this. This is out of here. And it's gone all the way for half a dozen. A great hit. Just give it all. He's a real strong man. Didn't quite middle it, but look at the way the ball traveled. Oh, oh. Now that was to try and dry the surface just behind the wicket. Where they had some repair work done. And the 50 is up for Vivius Laxman. 50 of 74 balls faced. He's pretty pleased. Oh! That was a flipper from uh, Brad Hogg. He was looking for the big one. Andrew Simmons didn't look too happy. Oh, he's picked the gap beautifully. That's four. The faster you try to bowl, the easier it gets for the batters. Now this time he was trying to bowl it a little flat. That's good thinking, good run here, and there could be another one. That's a rare sight, poor cricket from the Australians. 
Brad Hogg. Yeah, it's just been hit straight down the ground, all the way along the carpet. Lovely stroke from VVS. And he's doing the right thing. Realizes Tendulkar is close to a century. One to get. One ball left in the sober. And that's it. The crowd erupt here in Gwalior. Number 35. Fabulous innings from a fabulous player. 35th one day hundred. It's 192 for one. The sixth against Australia. And it's been a fantastic one. It's come at a time when a lot of people didn't realize that Sachin is also a human being. Can get into a rut and not get enough runs. Beautifully bowled. They asked the question and he's gone. He's had to go. Tendulkar's great innings comes to an end. And Nathan Bracken, the man striking once again, trying to run it down to third man. A faint tickle and Adam Gilchrist doesn't miss much. A very good low catch. Two down for 192. Well, this is just short. Could have been his third wicket. In the air. And over the top. It's found the gap. Exquisite shot to finish. Brings up the 200 for two. Tried the Yorker again, Williams. And it's got through and pierced the field. And even though Harvey got a hand on it, will just pull up. Which was a good effort from uh, Harvey. Six overs to go. You've brought thing on strike. Oh, that's a glorious hit. It's got the height. Only the second six of this innings. That's a pure piece of hitting. It's like the baseball going over the home run fence. It's gone fine and quick. That's another four. Hey, if you rode sink, you know, to work with him and you got away with the bottom edge. Yes, good shot, young man. Well bowled. Got to exchange his batsmen and bowlers have all the time. Oh, what a shot that is. One bounce into the fence. It's just like a missile. Oh, nobody's hurt. Oh, this is a great over for India. Three fours and a six. 237 for two. And that's another one. That's just bludgeoned for four. Australia just wants some dot balls at the moment. There it is. 100 for Vivius Lakshman. His second one day 100. And I guess it's back to back 100 for him against Australia. The last one was at Goa in the final one day against the same side. And again, a direct hit, he could be struggling up. But the second time, Vivius Lakshman has been struggling. Simon throws, he's on the edge of the circle. He knows there's a play on. So the second one day 100 for Vivius Lakshman, as he gets a standing ovation. 102, and India 256 for three. Agarkar can do the same, and make me eat my words. Oh. He just carries on, you brought saying. There he goes again. He's going to get out. Yes, got in the deep. Takes a simple catch in the deep. The end of Yuvraj Singh. An inning that promised a lot. Didn't quite get it, but that is an immensely valuable innings in the context of this game. Last over of the innings from Bracken. It's another full toss. And it's put away again for a four. And the genius just marches on. Well, what a turnaround this has been. India were looking to get to 250. This is the last ball of the innings. Yorker, it's gone up in the air. He'll be caught. So that's wicked gone for Ajit Agarkar. But after a fantastic innings, so the score remains on 284. The 50 overs have been bowled just after the schedule closed with Ajit Agarkar getting 22 of 10 balls.
So there is a confirmation of the Indian batting performance. Rahul Dravid won the toss. So it's an important toss to win here in Gwalior. Teams batting first generally win matches here. Two century makers for India, Tendulkar and Lakshman. And great innings from Yuvraj Singh and Ajit Agarkat. It's 10 off the last 100 due to some very good batting, but some poor bowling by the Aussies. That lack of experience, we talked about it pre-game, really came to the fore. Bracken took the wickets. Williams expensive at the end. And Bradley Hogg did a very good job. Uh, 10 overs for 47 runs with his top spinners. Adam Gilchrist and Matthew Hayden. And Hayden's average in this game climbs all the time. You may see Zahir Khan get a bit of a swing. Here we go. And Gilchrist away immediately. And that ball will pick up some moisture if it does get to the boundary. And it doesn't. Well, that's amazing. No ball. Driven. Now, I'm not going to call this to the boundary because the outfield seems to slow down a great deal. Oh, good pick up. Great pick up slide. Gilchrist drives, beats the field. Now, you've got to run everything down here tonight. And that one pulls up as well. Gilchrist drives off the back foot. Now, will this go for four? Struck it firmly. I don't think it'll make it again, will it? Yes, just. This is on length stump. Here's the way it's in the air. This might go all the way. Well, that went many a mile in the sky. Didn't get quite the distance he wanted. That landed in. Well, it's four, yeah. I've... It's right near that marker there, the, the flag, and it's, it was hard to pick it up from the other replay, but that has just landed inside, and so Neil Mallander withdraws the six call. And this one heaved away over mid-wicket. One, two, three, four bounces will give it. This time he drives, gets the gap and a dive, misses. This will be another boundary to finish the over, and good finish for Gilchrist. Top spin at the bound. That's when, at one of his uh, favorite shots, there's a stunned silence. It deserved more than that. It went like a trace of bullet, that one. Yeah! Now the dancing shoes are on, and a missed opportunity straight away. Oh, no, no! It's pretty close, but I'm sure it's outside the next time. Not outside the Empire, Harry Heron. And again, there's a the top edge. Chance on. But he's dropped it. Zahir Khan. Senior partner at this moment. Oh, and that should be close. Maybe pitched outside leg stump. And that's Harbison's problem bowling right um, over to a left hand batsman. This time Gilchrist goes in the air, beats the close fielder, and places that perfectly between the two outfielders. This one's well outside, leg stump and swept away for another boundary, so the shackles have been broken. Full toss, and this probably will go for four despite the wet outfield. This one swept away in the air and safe. Wow, did that travel. That will be four. A classic cover drive. we're looking at and Zahir Khan has done it he's broken a big partnership and what a wicket to get kill Chris the danger man this is good captaincy this is good bowling he's up there straight and loses that battle but still a fine innings 83 or 79 Australia lose their first wicket at 132 Ricky Ponting the Australian captain and in the com box it's going to be Sanjay Manjrekar and with him is Danny Morrison Gotcha! And not this time, the skip has gone, the leading edge. Well, hasn't the mood changed? Anil Kumble's expression tells you the story here. Almost a look of disbelief. There's a shot of length delivery. And again, that would suggest that the pitch is slowing down in spite of the dew and wet ball. The simple catch hitting the toe end of the bat. And Anil Kumble accepting it gratefully. Almost a shock on his face. Two for Ricky Bond. This time he gets him, and he makes amends. Different bowler, 
the same batter. I think the batsman to step out, played for the spin, which wasn't there. And Bhakti Patel this time getting it right. What a big wicket that is. And had a great time. And the door is slightly open for India to barge in. 140 for three. A big shot for leg before. Give it. A very stylish decision from Hari Haran. The replay would be interesting. Well, that's what I'm waiting for. Left arm around, it's pitched outside. Oh, I think that's uh, pretty ambitious. He's unlucky, Simons. He's gone for one. It's 141 for four. He's found the gap. Glorious shot to get a four. Indians looking to attack, so empty spaces in the outfield. Edged away, and that may be a boundary. Unlucky for Saywag, lucky for Bevan. Ajit Agarka bowls to Damien Martin and bowls poorly. Bowls on his leg stump. Ah! Him. He's bowled him. What a surprise it is. He's brought on just to fill in the overs. But the man who lost out with the bat today was dismissed in the first over, has picked up a very crucial wicket for the Indians. Martin's trying to hit this square and it's just ah! right. To push him out, and Martin's played the penalty on 76 for five. He's taken a very important wicket. Ah! And another one, and that's hit more stuff as well. And you're on fire. Saywag, the part timer, doing a wonderful job. Brenda Savard has been the star off the pads, but knocking the timber once again. That's a lovely sound to hear for anybody, and Savard is delighted. Two wickets in one over. Can't expect anything better from this man. Michael Bevan gone for 18. It's 177 for six. Ah! Another one. And again, a very similar dismissal ball skidding through, staying low. And another Australian batsman a little late on that shot. On that occasion, he missed it by at least six inches. Sachin Tindall gets into the act. But look at it. Only halfway up the middle stump. And isn't he delighted? Yeah, fizzing in. Harvey is out for four. It's 185 for seven. It's gone clean with us. Out of here. That has gone all the way for the maximum. He knew the intentions of the batsman was to go for the big one. So Virinder Sehwag really looking to pitch it right up so that the elevation wasn't possible. Virinder Sehwag uh, has had a big day with the bat, but he's got more wickets and runs. That was in the air. That's well done by Pate Patel. He was in a lovely position to collect that ball, and there it is. That's the eighth wicket down for Australia. Well done, Pate Patel. After missing that stumping earlier, I thought that he was losing his touch. Oh, hog goes for 29. 225 for eight. And he's gone for it. Didn't time it too well. And what a great catch! What a lovely catch that was! And what a beauty that was! Catches in the outfield do not come any better than this. This is a high ball. He's got to turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paces. That's about 25 metres. Over your shoulder, falling away from it. It's hard to describe just how difficult that catch is. 2.29 for nine. Ishar for that one. And that's the last oh, ball. Sorry. India celebrate. The crowd here in Gwalior celebrate. Just a quiet fist pump from Raul Dravid. He knows there's a long way to go in this tournament, but that's a big win. Hands shaking all around. 2.46 for nine off 50 overs. India win by 37 runs. That's a very good win. I think they've played some excellent cricket in the course of the day's play. Off to a terrific start, Tenduka 100, BVS Laxman 100. And some good hitting at the death to bring up their total. Australia away to a terrific start. That's a clever captain, see some good bowling in the middle. And India have come out victors. 
And the noteworthy contributions coming from the top order batsmen, the two batsmen openers, Adam Gilchrist and Matthew Hayden, getting 83 and 47 respectively. 132 for one were Australia at one stage. And after that, it was just a slide there. 246 for nine, just not enough to overall the big total that Indians got on the board. The standout bowler for India was Anil Kumble and narrowly missed the man of the match award, according to me. 10 overs, one made in 28 runs and two wickets. Look at Zahir Khan there at the top, coming back after a disappointing opening spell. 3 for 49 for him and the change bowlers doing a wonderful job for India. Tendulkar, Sehwag and also Harbhajan Singh chipping in with 10 overs for 43 and a wicket. So there you are, the match summary of the second match in this TVS Cup one-day tri-series. Uh, India coming back again, and this is really the hallmark of this uh, Indian team that has given us some good memories over the last two seasons. 246 for nine, chasing 283, and India win this first game against Australia by 37 runs.